Hey guys, we're here at uh, Eagle Falls Trail over here in Cumberland Falls State Park. We are uh, heading out. I was uh, browsing through TikTok this morning and saw there's a, a little ghost town slash amusement park up here on this trail. So we're gonna go out here and uh, share the experience with you and show you some pretty cool stuff. And uh, by the way, some great shots of Cumberland Falls itself. And uh, we may even get Eagle Falls as well. So we'll see how it goes. Enjoy. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning time to go. Cumberland Falls. Super loud here, echoing off the rocks. Pretty cool. Get to see it from this side. So guys, I've already had a layer down. It's a it's a trek up here. We've done about a thousand steps already. Four thousand more to go. It's uh no. It's brutal, but it's nice. And up there will be worth it. So let's keep going. So guys, the wife and I here, and little man back here, where's he at? There he is, little man, have decided this is probably where we're gonna die. Yeah. We're, we're gonna pass out, <laughs> but when we revive, we will start the video back up. How about that? Sound good? Yep. All right. Here okay, here we go. I'm not ready. And guys, I'll tell you, that's a lot steeper than it looks on video. Yeah. We saw it, we like, oh crap, but, <laughs> We're going because we're that like, crazy or stupid or whatever it is. I don't know. Pace yourself. Where's the handrail? <laughs> yeah, what's the handrail? Where's the escalator? Yeah. What's the big truck that's supposed to pull you up the mountain? <laughs> I'm coming. I'll help you. Oh, I'll give you CPR. <laughs> 
Okay, you're good. Come on up. Okay, guys. Almost there. Just one more flight of stairs. Nah, I feel like we found you. Sing it. Well, we feel sing it well. If we go down, then we go down together. <laughs> you hear all that craziness behind me? Ah! Do you hear that? Ah! We were getting a little delusional, but it's all in fun. Yeah. Uh, I gotta hold it up here. I was told that this is called the dad cam, and you do not do that. <laughs> you hold it up here, like a three quarter angle that the women like when they do selfies. <laughs> takes away the double chin. Yeah, it yeah. takes away all of that right there. Oh, they feel me? Woo! Watch my footing. Oh, yeah, now it's the sign that we're going down, okay? Oh. The trees look really far down there. Okay, guys, so after about an hour and a half grind up those stairs, it is brutal. It is not fun. It sucks. The suck factor is like 95, but three minutes five minutes we made it to the shelter oh, wait, they me? <laughs> oh, oh, no parts. this is done for they took the sign down there used to be a sign that said this was built when the 30s 35 to 18 i mean 1935 to 37 1935 to 1937 but instead we have people that love each other e plus j equals love f plus j don't know ak i know i know what ak is you, you guys you guys see that right there ak okay okay so and then f and l l and herb okay so guys can y'all not deface the property out here it is much better looking without the carvings. I understand you guys want to be goofy and silly and show your love, but don't do that. That's, I mean, I mean, that's one in 2020. Look over here, guys. I mean, look. Yeah. M plus K, 2020. Yeah. Now it's just ass, now it's like a month ago. Like. Don't deface the property, man. Somebody worked hard on this. I mean, like, come on, man. Come on, man. So, another thought that the CEO of the marriage just brought up. She likes when I say that, look at her. She's <laughs> laughing. She likes that her head gets real big. So, another point that came up oh, yeah. is I was supposed to do another hike and we are doing keto right now because, keto. I'll just leave it because, okay. Um, so, I was supposed to do another hike yesterday in the Smokies, but the winds are too dangerous and um, another trail is closed due to construction, so, we came out here today, but a friend of mine the other night, we were uh, playing some video games and uh, he asked me if I was gonna eat SpaghettiOs. I said, no man, that's uh, against my keto. So, uh, and he his response was like, dude, you're hiking seven miles. SpaghettiOs ain't gonna matter. Point, but I still need to lose weight. I'm not eating SpaghettiOs, but we could use them right now because we need those carbs. We're, we're suffering but we're gonna make it. We're like halfway there already, so we got this. Hey, look guys, I don't know if y'all can see it, but right, no, not there, right there. There's some people down there, somewhere right there. Um, some people down there on an overlook, it looks at the falls, which we were down there a few months ago, but the falls from this side is way better more powerful which the water is flowing heavier but uh it's pretty beautiful so guys we made it it only took a couple hours it's very strenuous but we finally made it this is old slides from an abandoned park that used to be on the other side of the river 
This is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at that, Ethan. I wonder if you could do... Oh, oh wait, that's the other part? Yeah, that's what that's going down there. Now it should be up this way. Ready. No, no. It says do enter. Oh, do not. Hey, turn the camera off. Turn oh, sorry. Off. Tombstone Junction was a small western town themed park located near the Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. It began operating in the 1960s and continued uninterrupted until the park was heavily damaged by fire in 1989. The park continued with limited operation until it was completely destroyed by a second fire in 1991. The park featured a recreation of a small western frontier town complete with train station, working saloon, dance hall, jailhouse, shanties, and shops. There was also an outdoor amphitheater which hosted live shows featuring country and western music of the period. The leading attraction at Tombstone Junction was a two and one half mile ride aboard a full size standard gauge operating steam train. Outside of the Scenic Railroad, the park consisted primarily of the town area of Tombstone Junction. This consisted of a faux western era town which was entered through a wooden fort entrance which housed the ticket office. The town consisted of the Red Garter Saloon where magic and stage shows were held, an outdoor theater where shows for park guest entertainers were staged, as well as several buildings such as the train station, the jail, gift shops, boutiques, etc. A themed building known as Paw's Cabin, which acted as a poor man's funhouse, allowed visitors to traverse a wilderness cabin where the interior floor had been slated at a steep angle. There was also a faux graveyard known as Boot Hill. Local residents were also used as characters to populate the town of Tombstone Junction. The local community was very involved in the park. The park focused on audience involving stage shows, gunfights, music shows, and a group of gunfighters who interacted with the visitors. This was to make up for the fact that outside of the train ride, the park never operated any mechanical rides. Tombstone Junction was perhaps most known for bringing nationally known entertainers to the South Central Kentucky area and offering family entertainment to the area for a reasonable price. Entertainers such as the Judds, Randy Travis, Dolly Parton, Kenny Rogers, Barbara Mandrell, Conway Twitty, and Loretta Lynn were part of the Sunday concert series that took place every Sunday from April to October. Okay, honey, so what's your thoughts out here? I think it's really cool. I think uh, a lot of people probably don't know about it, and it's uh, off the beaten path, and it's a pretty cool place. Leave it to my husband to uh, research places like this and bring us out on a Sunday afternoon when normal people go to the mall we come to places like this <laughs> That's a big rock. Listen.
Yeah. So guys, this was a pretty cool experience uh, getting to come out here. Apparently you can drive to it from over that way somewhere, um, but that takes all the fun out of it for me. I like to hike and get a little bit of exercise in and uh, just have some fun. Got to bring a family out, got to spend some family time together today. So uh, overall it's pretty good. The, the trail, it's short to get here. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, we're being goofy and that's just what we do, but the trail's pretty short, but it is strenuous. Um, legs get burning, you get breathing heavy, uh, but it's not undoable by no means. Um, any average person can do it. Uh, but yeah, definitely if, if you get a chance, definitely come out here and check it out. It's called Six Gun City, and uh, it's right here by Cumberland Falls Resort State Park. And um, pretty cool stuff, man. Y'all be good.